Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? It's your homeboy Simpaton4. I am here with another exclusive workout. I am doing a wooden dummy video and I'm doing freestyle of karate, boxing, and taekwondo. Even a little bit of Wing Chun into it. Um, I, bear, I used to Wing Chun parody most of the time in, in most of my attacking situations um i don't really use not barely hardly any karate blocks but i use mostly a lot of kung fu blocking um and on the wooden dummy but i use a lot of karate striking and boxing striking and a lot of taekwondo tactics um basically it's freestyle i mean Anything goes, palm strikes, elbows, I do the elbows for real, I slow it down on the elbows because like I said, I don't want to end up, you know, like hurting myself on the wooden dummy, you know, I'm not really trying to kill the wooden dummy, I'm not really trying to kill, kill the wooden dummy or anything like that, wooden dummy is a practice tool to train on, um, yes, the wooden dummy is for hardening the body, it's hardening the limbs, um, that's what Shaolin warriors use. That's even what people use when they don't have a partner to train with. Um, you don't have a wooden dummy. Um, you can use pieces of furniture um, from a chair and take the legs off the chair. Or even a coffee table. You know, if you can't use a coffee table, the arms on the legs on the coffee table are more sturdier than the legs on a chair. You can use those and mount them on a tree outside if you have to if you don't if you don't have a wooden dummy and just you know funny good pieces of wood mount it on a tree whatever and use it you know in a as a wooden dummy form of a way to practice your blocking and striking um that's what they did back in the shaolin ages of kung fu they used the nature as a tool of training um, basically, my, when my grandpa was alive, um, a long time ago, he, he went out, cut him a tree for me, and he saw a tree that was already down. He just sawed half of it in half, what was good on it, and used that for the wooden dummy, the base of the wooden dummy. And then he used the other part um the three arms and the leg part you know he used it as out of scrap wood which he said the arms were a little harder to put in there because uh of how it was made and structured and everything and on the directions on what it said to do and how to do it and but he did it for me one year as um an early Christmas present, you know, it was part of my Christmas for him, and um, I still train on it day to day when I when I feel like I need to practice on my defensive, offensive all the time. Um, that's what the wooden dummy is for. It's basically for helping you to counter punches, to counter kicking, to be able to learn to attack and counter at the same time. Um, that's what it's basically for. It's basically to help to redirect the attack. Not just practicing just on drills. It can be practiced just on drill blocking and stuff like that. But if you're just doing a drill set all the time, it gets kind of boring. So that's the reason why I kind of mix it up into my fight game. I move around on the wooden dummy. I practice blocking, striking of all ways. Um... I even added a little bit of headbutting in there. Most styles of martial arts do not allow headbutts. Uh, sport specific martial arts do not. Um, the headbutting is from my Krav Maga training that I've done um, in the past. Um, I really don't like to use the headbutt unless if it comes to a necessary, you know, if the if my opponent is too aggressive, I can't get my opponent off of me or whatever for a street fight or for competition you know if he's fighting dirty you know if you won't let me score a point i might just do a headbutt you know just to get him off off my back or whatever you know yeah isn't that dirty type of fighting yes it is 
Um, is that a good way to get you disqualified from a tournament? Yes, it is. Um, but if the other person's fighting dirty, if the ref ain't seeing his calls uh, on what he's doing, then yes, you got to fight dirty back to prove a point, even if it means he had a point deducted on you. Um, but the thing of it is, you know, that's the chance you got to take. And I've been to competitions. I've even fought without rules in a fight before. And free fighting, there's a lot to learn. I mean, if you do free fighting with no rules, I mean, everything is open. I mean, that brings a whole new level to the game. Um, I like the free fighting because it's it's more real. It's more effective um it's more endurance than anything um it's kind of like modern day mma but except you can't my thing of it is is that you can't use headbutts in mma you can't use eye gouging in mma you can't use ear pulling um whatever it may be um you can't use hair pulling or anything like that and and plus you can't use groin strike and when I used to did a freestyle fighting back in the day with one of my old training partners that I did, he was an MMA fighter. And I told him, I said, hey, I want to do freestyle martial arts. And the only way I can do freestyle martial arts is just training all the way of fighting. And he he was up for it. I mean, he, he wanted to do full content martial arts as well. And we didn't train with no gear or not. We just did all out fighting and we did kind of like how Fight Club did in the movie. You know, on, you know, there is no rule in Fight Club. And I was going by like the Brad Pitt thing in Fight Club at the time. And I just didn't want to be set by rules from tournaments. And because, you know, the reason why I was training free fighting at the time with him was because I wanted to be able to take a punch to the face. I wanted to be able to take a kick to the groin. Or I wanted to take a hit to the throat. You know, or getting choked at the throat. Or whatever it may be, you know, to be able to be able to, how to counter that attack when it needs to be countered at the right moment of impact. And that's the reason why, you know, when you see me practicing on a wooden dummy, I'm not just practicing on just a wooden material. In my mind, the wooden material is an opponent. Using your mind to imagine that it's an opponent. Using your mind, your body, and you're moving around on the target, you know, to each angle, be it on the side, be it on the other side. Being in the front, standing square, standing off and did an angle side, um, maneuvering around your opponent. You're never standing still in a fight. Um, you're never doing techniques slow in a fight. Um, but it's always fast paced. But when you're practicing on the wooden dummy, always take it slow for the first time. Never go all out. You know, like you see in the videos on YouTube, you know, they you see people do it really, really fast. You know, that's a good way of getting yourself hurt. Uh, like how they do it in the videos and everything. Um, the way they do it, they're just trying to show off. Uh, me, I'm not trying to show off. Mine is more of traditional based martial arts. Um, it's not really too tactical. It's basically simple, direct. Um, the Bruce Lee approach and um, simple simple society is the best way of the non the non classical move. You know, as Miss Miyoto Masashi would say, you know, if you don't have a school or a clone to practice, you can always learn martial arts on your own. And since I quit going to the academy, I'm doing it to be the Miyamoto Masashi's teaching out of the book of five readings you know if you get it order it on amazon for like i want to say 15.95 or 12.95 however much the book is um good books called the book of five readings 
Um, if you want to be a warrior, a true warrior, add that to your collection. Um, another good book to get is The Art of War by Zen Zeus. And um, another one would be Confucius by Lao Zeus. And um, those are like kind of like war tactic books in a way. Um, Confucius is more like clear the mind, thinking more with the mind, and then kind of like letting go with the mind, you know, freeing yourself from abstraction of thought and stuff like that, and not try to dwell on the past so much. And so things happen for a reason. And that's the reason why I train. That's the reason why I stay in shape the way I do. And like I said, you know, if y'all don't know me, I am Septonal 4, martial art, fitness, and trainer. Sorry I did not announce that in the last video and in the beginning of this video. And um, like I said, just take your time. Take it easy, take it slow when you're first doing the wooden dummy. You never want to hurt yourself. Um, a lot of people like to do it fast for the first time. You know, if they don't do it, if they don't do it fast in the first time, they won't get right. No, that's not how it works. You do it slow, work your way up to do it fast. So there you have it, folks. I am Sakdana Four, martial art, fitness, and trainer. Please hit the like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and you'll get every one of my videos, and I'll see you in the next training video. Peace. Oh, 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 oh.